Good morning. Blessed be the Lord for yet another beautiful day. Today, I was somehow led to this verse where it says that we have to live in joy all the days of our life. Whatever situation you may be facing, you should be living in the joy of the Lord which is our strength. Nehemiah 8.10 says this. But then, when we look at things around us, when we see our lives, even the most successful, even the most brilliant, even the most richest person, or the poorest person for that matter, joy is not something which is consistent in our lives. But then why would Nehemiah the prophet say this when he says, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. Now, if you recollect, Nehemiah was a slave in the Babylonian country and he came back and he was able to witness and say this. Now, God has created us to enjoy life, my friends, to find pleasure in the things that we are interested in. For me, basically, I, I find joy in nature, in walking in the mornings, in the cool hours of the morning when nobody's around, into the woods or on the beach or on the lake. I find it so refreshing and I find it so thrilling. Even though God has created us to crave joy in our lives, our days are mostly filled with things that can steal our joy as we focus on things that have to be done each day, projects to be completed, issues in the family, outside the family, in the church, in the office that have to be addressed, relationships that have to be mended, communications that have to be improved between siblings, spouse, between friends, at colleagues. There doesn't seem to be many moments of pure joy throughout our lives. Isn't that so? When we are faced with all these difficult things in the life that rob us of joy, it can be a challenge to see beyond the circumstances that we are going through or facing. However, it is during these very hard moments that we must learn to lean into the Lord, my friend. Because he says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And he says, when I give you joy, I give it to you. Incomplete. Oh, what a wonderful statement that is. This verse particularly tells us that our strength, our strength comes from the joy of the Lord. What is the joy of the Lord? The joy of the Lord is found when we deliberately, intentionally, purposefully spend time getting to know who our loving God and Heavenly Father is. We must spend time daily reading the Bible, my friends, to get to know Him better and to and to get a glimpse of this pure kind of joy. We must be meditating and remembering all the things that God is doing and has done in your life so far. We must continue to pray without ceasing. We must begin to view each situation as believing that God is at work and He is in full control. As we begin to focus more on the Lord by starting each day with time in the Bible, in prayers, in communicating with Him, my friends, your life will turn around. Please join me in this prayer. Let us pray. Dear Lord, I can do nothing without you. When my strength falters, I will look to you, Lord. You are my strength in every single situation that I am going through today. I cling to the promises that you have given me through the words found in your beautiful Bible, life-giving words. Lord, I cry out to you through the hardness of my situation and the stubbornness of my heart. You are my hope. You are my peace. I find joy in you. Help me to allow the truth of these realities recorded in the Bible, experienced by our forefathers, fill every part of my mind and heart, today and always. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.